The Nest thermostat is a learning thermostat. It is great in learning what you like. Just turn it up or down and it will catch on after a few days and create a personalized schedule for you. That's how the Nest thermostat saves energy. It can save on energy to the point that it will eventually pay for itself. And it will save even more. So you have to turn it to show the leaf. And that's how you do it. Just leave it alone. So the nest even turns itself down when you leave the house. You can even control it from anywhere by using your phone. I can control it with the Nest app or on the SmartThings hub. Now in the app, you can see how much energy you used every day and how to use less. So before I go through the demo, I'm going to show you what it looks like underneath in the actual nest, if you will. Look at that. So you'll notice that where it is pushed in is where the wires are attached. All right, let's go into the app. Okay, and I'm going to be using my laptop right now so you can see what I'm doing. So right now the thermostat knows that I'm home. So that's why home is circled here. And you can actually see that the temperature is 23 and I will click on it to go to the settings and that's where I can actually manually change the temperature and by the way I can do all of this from anywhere in the world so in this app it shows you the humidity and outside temperature it's 29 percent and the outside temperature is one degree. I don't know why I live here either. Don't even ask. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is where we have it set to heat, our schedule, and our energy history. Now I'm going to click on the heat right here, and you can see you can set the thermostat rather to heat, to cool, to heat cool, to the eco mode, or off completely. Now considering that it's one degree right now in Canada, I'm going to leave it at heat. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Um, we also have the schedule, and this is where you can actually set it on a day-by-day -day basis. It's very intelligent, and it will actually get to know your routine and save you a lot of money in the long run. Very cool. And then we have our history, and that's where it goes and makes those uh, judgments and helps to save energy and dollars, obviously. Um, looking at the month of December, you can see that there's more energy as it gets later on because obviously we're getting into the dipping temperatures, so that is going to cause a fluctuation. All right, so as you can notice, blue and interactive. Why? Because it's snowing. That is showing the precipitation. The perci precipitation. <laughs> Newly blonde, thanks for coming out. All right, so yes, as you can see here, blue and the movement depicts precipitation which is why that's right folks it is snowing outside and i am in a sleeveless top because i have the right to bear arms and i maintain that right okay and so the orange here why is it orange orange you glad because that means the heat is on yeah okay so now i'm going to go to the gear which is to the right top of here and this is where you're going to change the settings and be able to really help with where you want to have the heat, what sections, and all of that. It has your technical information, your equipment and wiring all in one section, your one-stop shop for all your settings and configuration needs. All right, let's go into the thermostat. Lock allows you to set the minimum and maximum temperatures, then lock it with a pin so no one can adjust it outside that range without re-entering the pin. For example, if you set them to 20 and 24 degrees Celsius and you have a little kid, they can't change it past those numbers. That's a good feature. Echo. This tells the thermostat what to set the temperatures to while I'm away. When I'm away, I want to have it set to 20.5 degrees when heating. And when I have to set it to cooling, I want it set to 26 degrees to save energy when I'm away. Home Away Assist. Using the presence sensor, Nest can save energy by adjusting the temperature when no one is at home. It will use the temperatures you set up in Echo. I have it set to use Echo. Nest Sense. There are several settings under this. Auto Schedule. Learning based on the temperatures you set and the days you set it. The more you use it, the better it learns. 
So if you change the temperature once, it knows it's just a one-off. If you keep changing the temperature at a specific time, it remembers and learns. Time to temperature. Nest learns and will estimate how long it will take to reach your target temperature. There is nothing to change here, just informational. Early on. You can set it to start preheating or pre-cooling early. I just leave it on to schedule. Cool to dry. You can set the nest to use additional cooling to reduce high indoor humidity. I leave it to no. I don't have this problem with humidity. It is also costly as the AC runs a lot more. Sunblock. This is if your nest is in a room where the sun can shine on it at certain times of the day. It will heat up which will cause your AC to run more. This setting protects against that and won't run your air conditioner to the ground. However, I chose no as the thermostat is in the hallway. Leaf. This just tells you that a leaf appears when you are at an energy efficient temperature. You can't change anything here. It's just informational. We are done with nest sense. Reminders. Air filters. You can have Nest remind you to change your filters. You set when you changed it last. Then Nest will remind you based on usage. Brightness. We can change the brightness of the screen to high, medium, or low. I keep it to medium. Display. This is what you want the display to show. Farsight means you can choose some helpful information. If you use Farsight, you can select these. If you don't want to, you select these. So when we approach the thermostat, we can change the display to the target temperature, current temperature, analog clock, digital clock, or the weather. Let's take a look and see how it looks when we set it to digital, and how it looks when we set it to weather. And if you don't want to use Farsight, you can select Wake on Approach, or Wake on Pressing. Click Sound. You can turn the click sound on or off, Fahrenheit or Celsius. This is where you change the thermostat to Fahrenheit or Celsius. Let's leave it to Fahrenheit for the rest of the video. Where? It's asking you where you installed your thermostat. You can select different rooms in your house. I have it installed in the hallway. Network. This is where you connect it to your home network. Location. You can enter your postal or zip code and it knows your location. Language. I have it set to English. Equipment. This tells you how to wire up your thermostat and how to connect the different color wires. Nest Pro. If you had a professional installer set this up, they can enter their Nest Pro ID. The rest is information we don't care about. We'll go to thermostat. And this is where we can set it to heat, cool, or heat cool. If you have a location where it's hot during the cold day and cold at night, our thermostat automatically turns to eco mode when we are away, so we just leave it to heat. Energy. It tells you how much heat I used yesterday, and I can see previous days. If I press on it, it breaks it down further. You can see I'm at the weekly average for that day. Schedule. I have it on auto learn, so all of these are set from learning. And we are done with setting it up. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and there's plenty more to come. So, if you liked it, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you didn't, be sure to give us a thumbs down and tell us why. We appreciate your comments, your likes, your dislikes, your suggestions, your questions. Keep them coming. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell there for more notifications about when we put up more videos. Thanks for watching.